Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. I have a quick question for you. Have you read your Bible this morning? Have you prayed this morning? If you haven't read your Bible this morning, I got some good news for you. Today, we are going to read our Bibles. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we are going to talk about a very important topic that I think a lot of folks, especially in the Christian um, world, they ignore. They don't understand the importance of spiritual things. And before we step into this conversation for today, the devotional, I want to say that I'm very excited for today. Ever since God placed into my heart for us to do the 30 days challenge, I am so happy because I get to wake up in the morning and actually dive into God's word. It's a blessing, not just to pray, but to also dive into God's word. So if you are here for the 30 days challenge and where we study God's word, you are welcome. You are welcome. I'm so proud of you. I'm not going to lie. This is one of the most difficult times where I have to discipline myself to wake up in the morning and pray or to read my Bible every single day. So if you haven't read the Bible today, please, please, please. This is an opportunity for you to dive into God's word. Remember on this YouTube channel, we talk about success. And we talk about the different ways that you can live a successful life. However, the foundation of our success has to be in Christ Jesus. I want to tell you a little bit story before I get into the scripture for today. You know, I grew up in a Christian home where I only knew about the surface Christian life. You know, I knew that demons exist. I knew that Satan is always roaming around, seeking for him to devour. You know, we know how to bind and cast Satan, but I never understood that our relationship with Jesus Christ is a fight, right? I was always one of those people who don't believe in, I believe it, but I don't take it very important, right? So I always think about three different people. You have those who are very spiritual, everything about your lives, it has to be a demon. I'm not one of those people, but at the same time, I'm not one of those people who ignore spiritual things. I, I take the physical steps that I have to do, and I'm also aware that the Bible says we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against spiritual things, right? So one day I was talking to one of my friends. I don't know how the conversation came up, and I asked him this question. Do you believe in demons? Like, do you know that there are spiritual forces out there who are trying to destroy us as Christians? And the person said, no, the person was not receptive to, a, to the idea that you can still be a Christian and at the same time you can be inflicted. You can be inflicted. In other words, Satan can try to attack you spiritually. And therefore, we must not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy, right? So when it comes to spiritual things, you have to understand that spiritual things are things that do not have a physical solution. There's no physical effort. There's no physical strength. There's no physical intellectual capacity that can overcome spiritual things. Spiritual things can only be handled from a spiritual perspective. In other words, Satan can only be overcome by the word of God. Everything has to be handled from a spiritual perspective. The Bible says that we must commit everything to God in prayer. But there are certain things that we have to understand that it can only be solved from a spiritual perspective. If you're facing a demonic attack, if you're facing things that do not make sense to you naturally, if you're facing a generation of curse, you have to take the steps towards acknowledging that this can be a supernatural attack, this can be a demonic attack, and you have to step into the solution. God is not going to force you. That's the wonderful thing about God. He's not going to force me for over five years, six years, or even for quite a significant amount of time. I never really acknowledge that spiritual things exist. Even on YouTube channel nowadays, I see, I see YouTube channels that are mostly focused on trying to, trying to suppress the spiritual world. They make it look like a joke. I see people make fun of certain spiritual things, especially if they don't understand those spiritual things. They make fun of those spiritual things. 
they said, oh, this is some form of demonic powers, fake. Like, like how can how can someone be a Christian and then he, he or she has to be delivered from something? Like, this is not true. This is not what the Bible says. But here's the thing that I always ask myself this question. Those people who are coming on YouTube and they say that this is fake. But the question is, you are the one suffering. You are the one who know what you go through at night. You're the one who know how many times you have tried to overcome those things. Are you going to let someone on YouTube tell you about spiritual things? Or are you going to let the Bible tell us you about spiritual things? Let's just go to the book of Mark 9. I want to show you someone who was spiritually minded. When I read the scripture, it changed my mind completely. I'm not going to read everything, but I want you to look at the scripture when you have a chance, right? I want you to turn to Mark 9. 14 to 29 if you have the chance read through the book of mark 9 right and this was a story that the dad came to the disciples and the dad told the disciples that hey i have a child who is basically sick right if you read other scriptures it says this guy had a seizure but the dad knew something that was different from this dude he looked at his son and said there's something different from this guy i know that medically they call this a seizure in the medical field when you are shown a signs of seizures you fall on the floor you have all this form coming out of your mouth you are basically shaking that's the symptoms of a medical condition but the dad was spiritually alert he knew there's a difference between spiritual things and there's a difference between physical things he looked, he's like, this dude cannot be something physical. There has to be a spiritual thing that is forcing this dude to go or to forcing this child to go into this condition. And he went to the disciples. He'd be like, hey, disciples, can you cast out that demon from my child? Whoa, hold up. What dad in the right sense would tell his child that, hey, my child is possessed. What dad in his right sense will be happy to even say that this child or my child has something that he's suffering from? I think that's the problem with many of us Christians is that we don't want to acknowledge that we're going through some form of spiritual attack. Again, that does not mean everything that happened to you is a demonic attack. I know people who fail to study for the exams and they fail and be like, this is demonic i knew the demons were trying to attack me but you never tried your best to study i know someone who they do foolish things the bible and the book of proverbs say people do foolish things and they blame god sometimes we make certain decisions and then when the consequence comes we say it's a spiritual attack that's not a spiritual attack but I'm talking about the situation where this dad saw the child and knew there was something wrong with this child. This child cannot be just jumping all of a sudden. Yes, the doctors call this medical condition, but I think there's something more to this. Let me take that individual to Jesus or to the disciples so they can provide a form of healing. And he goes and say, oh, my child has a demon. My child is suffering. Everyone is going to look at that individual and be like, are you crazy? How can you say your child is possessed? Here's what the dad said in the Bible. It says in verse 17, he is possessed by an evil spirit that would not let him talk. And whenever the spirit seizes him, it throws him violently to the ground. Then he foams in his mouth and grinds his teeth and become rigid like this. He knew that this signs, even though it's a medical condition, but the dad knew that this is not just a seizure. This is not just a medical condition. This is not just a situation that many people are going through. This is something more than that. And he went to the disciples and told the disciples that, can you please help me? That's a spiritual minded individual. That's someone who acknowledges that we fight, we do not fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against spiritual powers. Let's just assume that the dad was wrong. What does it hurt to take your problems to Jesus? It does not hurt to take your problems to Jesus. 
there's always a solution. Let's assume that the, the child was not even possessed, but he went to Jesus and said, Jesus, I need your help. I need your help. That's the first thing that we need to take. Jesus, I need your help. That's all you have to say. Jesus, I need your help. So the big takeaway for today's devotional is that there's a difference between physical and spiritual things. Thank you all for joining me in the daily devotional. Thank you for waking up in the morning. If you're rewatching this, let me know in the comment section. Do you believe in spiritual things? Do you believe that there are certain things that are spiritual and there are certain things that are physical? 